Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video we're discussing Azure versus AWS. So which one is going to be the best for startups? Let's find out. Okay, so before we dive in into the details, let's quickly break down what Azure and AWS are and why cloud platforms are essential for startups. Both Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services are cloud computing platforms that provide services like storage, computing power, databases and more. For startups, the flexibility and cost savings from using cloud infrastructure are huge, allowing you to scale your operations without investing in physical hardware. But what sets Azure apart from AWS and which is more startup friendly? Let's find out. Starting with Azure, Microsoft's platform offers a vast array of services ranging from AI and machine learning tools to storage, app hosting and database management. It's especially strong in integrating with other Microsoft services like Office 365 and Active Directory, making it a great choice if your team already relies on Microsoft's ecosystem. Now, AWS is known for being the largest cloud provider, and it's a bit of a Swiss army knife when it comes to services. They've been doing cloud computing for the longest, so you get access to everything from virtual machines, serverless computing with Lambda, to advanced AI and machine learning models. AWS's service offerings are incredibly vast, which can be great for startups looking to experiment and innovate. So whether you need basic infrastructure or cutting edge AI capabilities, both platforms can handle it, but AWS offers the widest selection overall. All right, now let's talk about something every startup founder is thinking about, pricing. You want to keep costs low while getting the most out of your cloud platform. AWS offers a pay-as-you-go pricing model, which is great for flexibility. You only pay for what you use, but costs can add up fast if you're not careful. The good news? AWS offers a free tier that's very useful for startups in their early stages. You get 12 months of access to some services for free, including EC2 compute hours and C3 storage. Azure operates similarly with a pay-as-you-go structure. Azure's pricing is often seen as slightly more affordable for smaller scale usage, especially when it comes down to Windows-based services. Azure also offers a free tier for startups, including $200 in credits for the first 30 days, and access to popular services like Azure App Services and Virtual Machines. While both platforms offer competitive pricing, AWS tends to get more expensive as you scale, so Azure might have the edge in terms of cost predictability, especially if you're a startup relying on Microsoft tools. Azure is known for its user-friendly portal and tight integration with developer tools like Virtual Studio and GitHub. If your startup already uses Microsoft products, the transition to Azure is going to be pretty seamless. Plus, they offer a ton of documentation and tutorials, which can help your developers hit the ground running. AWS, on the other hand, has a bit of a steeper learning curve. The interface isn't as intuitive, especially for those new to cloud platforms. However, it has a edge when it comes down to advanced features and developer tools like AWS Code Deploy, cloud formation, and a broader selection of SDKs. It's a powerhouse, but you'll likely need some expertise to make the most out of it. So if your team is small and you want to get up and running quickly, Azure might be the easier pick to use. But if you've got experienced developers and need advanced capabilities, Amazon services could be worth the extra learning curve. All right, lastly, let's talk about the startup ecosystems that Azure and AWS cover. Azure has a dedicated program called Azure for Startups, which provides access to credits, free development tools, and technical support. If you qualify, Microsoft will even assign you a dedicated mentor to help guide you through your scaling progress. Plus, it integrates easily with GitHub, so there's a strong developer focus. On the other hand, Amazon offers the AWS Active Program. AWS offers the AWS Activate Program, which is one of the most popular startup support ecosystems, which is one of the most popular startup support systems. It provides free credits, technical support and training. Activate has helped many startups scale successfully, so if you're looking for a program with proven track record, it might be the better option. All right, time to wrap things up. So which cloud platform is best for your startup? Ultimately, both platforms offer incredible features, so the best choice comes down to your specific needs, budget, and future growth plans. 
that's it for today's comparison guys if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button for more tech reviews and business solutions comment below and let us know are you learning toward Hazor or aws for your startup and don't forget to check the description for links for both platforms and their startup programs thank you for watching